It's time! Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 224 pounds. Fighting out of Vienna, Austria, lights out. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times. Obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your car. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 opponent. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And they separate. He landed a good uppercut there. Knee to the body. Just misses there with the left. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. 
stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Lee gets touched by that kick there. Oh, collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. A little bit. Horrible. A oh, little single collar tie there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Oh, big left hand there. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, blocks the shot. Another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him start to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just missed with the straight left hand. Great punch. All right, single collar tie now. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Big kick land. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, he's back in the clinch. Look for him to get that right hand busy. one coming, and they separate. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Honing in on those counters. Nice punch, man. Single collar tie now. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, he heard it bad with the jab. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp today. Round two is next. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. And his counter striking is so good that it gives his opponent pause in terms of getting his own offense going because as soon as he strikes, he's getting a mouthful of teeth. Yes, he is a fantastic counter striker. John, he has an ability to see what you're doing and counter it before you even understand what's going. It's in the eyes. It's in the eyes. 
watch him. He is watching and processing what's about to happen and countering the moment his opponent tries to attack him. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Nice punch lands over the top. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Slips to avoid that left. Unable to connect it. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. What a punch. Huge block there. Got clip with the right hand. And both guys really flowing with authority. And just misses with that big right hand. Keep moving. Protect your face now. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Nice punch there by Lee. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Just missed with that right hand. Clint. Spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Spinning back fist. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Big body kick lands. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Right punches there. Lands with the right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Lee's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. And there comes the separation now. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, a huge block there. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. He can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Looking to land the right just out of range. Straight punch lands. Seconds to go in the round. Oh, single collar tie here. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, counter there with an uppercut, perfectly placed in time. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. 
his opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Got the six collar tie. Oh, nice knees to the body. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, Lee defends on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Oh, what a punch. Nice leg kick land. Some nice back and forth action here. Slips the guard, lands the right hand. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh! Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. A swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Oh, collar ties. Ooh, what a punch. Again, back into this position. How about that chin? Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Right on the button. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Throws the right hand there. Nice straight punch. Oh, slips to avoid the right. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Just missed with the left there. Right hand punch with the clinch. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Well, they made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Man, 
it looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And they separate. Nice punch by Lee. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. active on your feet. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Another clinch position. Staying busy here in the clinch. Now goes to the knee to the body. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. That was a hit. Nice strike. How good is that right hand? Distance gets the single collar tie. Oh! Looked like it did stun a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Close guard, connects with a right. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Pretty good right hand. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Effective punch there by Lee. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop in this contest at two minutes, 28 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.